In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to organize your Gmail inbox, a task that can transform a chaotic stream of emails into a well-ordered collection. Making sure you stay on top of your most important communications, let's jump right in. The first step is quite straightforward, navigate to your Gmail inbox by logging into your account. For most of us, this is where the clutter begins, but also where our journey to organization starts. Now, have you noticed those labels on the left side of your Gmail interface? They're about to become your best friends in inbox organization. If you don't see the label you need, there's a tiny plus icon next to the existing labels. Click this to create a new label. This is how you start categorizing your emails, a crucial step in decluttering your inbox. Once you click the plus icon, a pop-up will prompt you to name your label. Think of how you want to categorize your emails. It could be based on priority, project names, clients, or even types of emails like receipts or newsletters. Choose a name that makes sense to you and will help you easily identify the group of emails it represents. After typing in your desired label name, hit the create button. And just like that, you've added a new label to your Gmail. This new label is now a tool in your organizational toolkit, awaiting its first assignment of emails. Next, head back to your main inbox, or perhaps one of the overwhelming piles of unread messages, and start selecting the emails you wish to organize under your newly created label. This might seem like a daunting task if your inbox is particularly cluttered, but remember, doing this will save you time and stress in the long run. After selecting the emails, look for the label as option, which might be represented by a tag icon. Click it and you'll see a drop down menu with your labels. Hover over this menu and select the label you've just created. This action categorizes the selected emails under your chosen label, effectively moving them out of the general inbox clutter and into a more manageable space. By repeating this process, you can create various labels for different purposes and categorize your emails accordingly. For instance, if you receive a lot of subscription emails, you might create a label called newsletters. Or if you're working on a specific project, label emails related to that project with its name. This method not only cleans up your inbox, but also streamlines the process of finding important emails when you need them. Another quick tip to enhance this process is to utilize the search function in Gmail to find emails related to the label you're organizing. For example, if you're labeling all emails from a specific client, you can search that client's name, select all, and then label them in one fell swoop. This can significantly speed up your inbox organization. Remember the goal here is not just to make your inbox look neater, but to make your email management more functional. With a well-organized inbox, You'll spend less time searching for emails and more time focusing on what's truly important. As you continue with this process, you may find it helpful to regularly revise and update your labels. Your needs might change or you might find better ways to categorize your emails. It's perfectly okay to evolve your system as you go. In wrapping up, I hope this video helps you see your email inbox in a new light. An organized inbox can drastically reduce stress and improve productivity. With the steps we've walked through today, you're well on your way to achieving email nirvana. Don't hesitate to revisit your organization strategy periodically to ensure it still meets your needs. Thank you for watching and happy organizing.